Assalamu alaikum students, your instructor Abdul Rafi here for Pearson and Excel A-Levels Accounting and Mathematics. So today the topic is exponential and logarithms and as you can see it is WMA13 IAL International Advanced Level Mathematics and WMA13 that is book number 3 and we are going to discuss the whole list playlist will be on chapter number 5 of the book that is exponentials and logarithms topical past papers okay so we are doing topical past papers here students from chapter number five okay this is basically october 2021 so it's a old paper but helpful for understanding the concept so the question says that the total mass of gold g tons extracted from a mine is modeled by the equation so the total mass of gold g tons that is extracted from a mine is modeled by the equation g is equals to 40 minus 30 e power 1 minus 0 0.05 t where k is where t is greater than k and g is also greater than z equals to 0 where t is the number of years after 1st january 1800 figure 2 shows a sketch of the graph g against t use the equation of the model to answer part a b and c so the first thing we have to find is basically the value of k so the first thing students you need to understand before moving what we have to solve and what we not have to solve so let's first write down the equation on this page that the g is equals to 40 minus 30 times of e power 1 minus 0 0.0 0 0.05 power t so 40 minus 30 e power 1 minus 0 0.05 t where t is basically airs okay so hope students get it t is basically number of airs to understand for later parts as well and later purpose so t is number of airs and we say that g is the how much tons of the gold total mass of the gold g tons that is extracted from the mine so g is basically the mass of gold tons okay the how many tons are being extracted of the gold in mass okay so we got this here okay and the time period that we are starting is after 1st january t is the number of years after 1st january 1800 okay so we have to find the value of k so students need to understand that this t is basically x-axis okay t is basically x-axis and g is basically y-axis okay and we have to find the value of k so let me do the highlighter this also means that if we are highlighting it here and which means that the we have to find the x value y will be zero okay so you need to understand for the first part that is of three three marks okay two to three marks students need to understand that we have to find the value of k so this is basically x axis where y will be zero and y in our case is g okay so let me write down on the next page that g is equals to y and this t is equals to x okay so in our case we'll have to do g is equals to zero and solve this equation okay students so here we go we got g is equals to zero 40 minus 30 times of e power 1 minus 0 0.05 power t we are going to solve this for the exponentials question okay so here we go 30 you bring it to one thing one side to everything okay so 30 e power 1 minus 0 0.05 t is equivalent to 40 you divide 40 by 30 so this will be e power 1 minus 0 0.05 t is equals to 40 divided by 30 and let's say that this is going to come as e is equals to 1 minus 0 0.05 t 40 divided by 30 is 4 over 3 students okay you can simplify 40 divided by 30 will become that okay and now when you have to remove exponential when you have to remove the e you have to put e ln on both sides okay remove exponential so you have to put ln on both sides right put ln on both sides students so here we go sir it is going to be very simple ln e 1 minus 0 0.05 t is equals to in this case ln 4 over 3 here as well lne is always 1 sir so here we go lne is 1 so you are left with 1 minus 0 0.05 t 
is equals to ln 4 divided by 3. Make sure keep it as it is. Okay, let me just draw a line. So we simplify solve it here. Students need to understand we already discussed that this is the k value. The t value is k here. So you can just change now that t is equals to k right here. So we will say that 1 minus 0 0.05 k because t is the k value is equals to ln 4 divided by 3. You bring it there 1 minus ln 4 divided by 3 is equals to 0 0.05k. Now you just do it one in one go. Okay, make sure you put in the calculator in one go 1 minus ln 4 over 3 divided by 0 0.05 to get you the value of k and k is going to come as sir. So make sure your calculator is working properly. Whatever you get divided by 0 0.05. So I'm getting 14.2 to one decimal place usually you give the answer to one decimal place so i'm getting 14.2 errors okay so k value is 14.2 errors okay because k is equals to t i'll write it down here students k is equals to t that is errors okay so that is how you get the first part done that is finding the value of k that is 14.2 now you have to interpret once you get it always remember hence means to take the help from the previous part you'll have to take the help from the previous part hence find the year and the month in which gold started being extracted from the mine for three marks this whole a part is so students need to understand that this is the year and the month in which gold started so they are saying that t is the number of years after 1800 so this is 1800 and you have got the k value as 14.2 years which means you can say that the year will be let's do it just here like it will be 1800 plus 14 okay so it will be 1800 plus 14 so it will be 1814 that's the air value okay that will be the air value student 1814 will be the air value and because this is 0 0.2 airs in order to get the month in which month it started students can do simply 0 0.2 into 12 months okay to get the idea one year is 12 months students so this is coming as 2.4 which means 2.4 will be eventually February is finished and we are in the March okay so here we go the answer is there simple students a part 2 answer let me write it down a part 2 answer will be 1814 is the year with March is the month okay so this is you got marks here as well and you marks you got marks for k is equals to 14.2 okay that's how you get all three marks hope everyone got the working how i solved this and everyone got part a okay we are going to move to the other part that is part b now students that is find the total mass of the gold that was extracted now as i said that make sure always this will help okay so because we have written that g is the mass of gold tons so we have to now find the total mass which means you have to understand the question students they are asking that you have to find the g value here okay this was they were asking which air is it here which means the t value there and there they're asking now for two marks find the total mass of the gold that is extracted from the up to uh, up to up to means that to the air of 1870 which means that if you are starting in 1800 students we are going till 1870 which will indicate that it is 70 years okay so let's do part b here okay the page is ending here now we have some space here so let's do part b here students so we have to find the g value and you are going to say that t value is 70 tons okay t value is 70 years because from 1800 to 1870 is going to be included 70 years students okay so here we go 40 minus 30 e power 1 minus 0 0.05 t that's the original equation sir so g is equals to 40 minus 30 e power 1 minus 0 0.05 power of 70 just solve it and give the answer to the examiner in your calculator you can do this as well no problem okay make sure to show as much working as possible it is coming 37.5374 but keep it to one decimal place so 37.5 tons is the answer 
for part B. So after 70 years, you can say when we started extracting the gold after 70 years, 37.5 tons would have been extracted. 37.5 tons of mass of gold would have been extracted after 70 years. And the last part that is only of one question, one mark in which you have to state the value of the limit. And what is the limit question that there is a limit to the mass of gold that can be extracted from the mine. And as we can see in the equation, the equation, once you do more questions like this, you'll understand that this type of questions are always being asked. You have to state the value of the limit after 70 years. If you have extracted 37.5 tons, this cannot be negative, right? We have discussed this, that G is greater than zero. So which means that if g cannot be great g, g cannot be great uh, g cannot be less than zero okay if you understand that the gold tons cannot be less than zero so which means this is the maximum limit so let me write down the part c answer here students that g is equals to 40 tons because that is where it will stop that is the maximum that you can extract okay that is the maximum gold that we can extract because of the equation that is given in this term maximum gold that can be extracted okay so hope students get it this is basically you will reach your limit after some more years after some more years from after 1870 will you you can do more because you've already reached 37.5 tons of extraction but you cannot go more than 40 because 40 is the limit at g is greater than zero and that is the reason okay so hope everyone gets it that this will finish this this whole part will finish and it will be this is this means that it is declining the mass of the gold is declining and that is why whatever value you take of t as long as value you take let's say if you take t 100 this will come to zero okay so 40 minus zero that is the maximum i'm just giving an example as long as greater value of t you will take because t is also greater than k right as greater value of t you will take okay you will understand that you are reaching the limit and the limit is 40 tons that can be extracted from for the gold mine okay so that is how we solve this question students hope everyone gets this this is chapter number five of exponentials and logarithms from october 2021 wma13 people or what wma13 paper and that is how it looks like in a nutshell part a and b and c